gonna move on to Downward Combat Strike. And keeping with the theme of two names for things, because let's be confusing, why not? Um, we're gonna do Downward Combat Strike, or sometimes you'll hear me refer to it as a Circular Strike. The reason being is, look, whoop, it's circular. Makes that circle, just like that. So, if you hear Circular Strike, I think that's the only one you, you might actually hear Circular Strike for. I don't think there's anything else for a Circular Strike. So, Downward Combat Strike or a Circular Strike, they look just like this. Notice how it returns quickly right back here. This was also another one where, just like our Forehand Strike, it's very quick to be able to return, which is cool because I can start doing a bunch of these strikes really fast and then be able to block and then strike again. Now, when I'm doing my Downward or my Circular Strike, I'm going to keep it in my hand and I actually slide it out. One thing I don't want to do is just let go of it and then circle here and crack my own head. I want to kind of fling it out and then down. So notice how I'm starting up at the top so you can see how it slides out of my hand. Boom. As I reach out, bam, and I go down. So it's downwards and slightly to the side. Boom. So it's not completely downwards where it's going to go right in between my legs. Here and then slightly to the side and then when I get here at this point where I'm basically in line with my hip I change the direction like it's down 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 I'm here in line with my hip and I go sideways boom that's gonna allow me to be able to catch it again down sideways down sideways catch down sideways catch so hopefully you've watched the lesson for this already but that is going to be our downward or our circular combat strike. We're right here. Strike out and catch. When I do this, notice how I typically will blade myself off. And what I mean by that is I'm not squared. This would be squared. This would be bladed. I have one side forward. One of the main reasons for that is I don't want to hit my knee. I don't want to strike down and accidentally hit my knee. And it's, it's possible to happen, especially if you just make contact with something. There's going to be... Um, a little bit more ricochet in there. It's harder to control. We don't want to hurt ourselves. So when you blade yourself off like this, boom, then you'll be able to catch it with a lot less risk of hitting your own knee. So we're going to go ahead and practice this. I'm going to start off with my right side. So I have my right leg forward. I'm here. I shoot it out, strike, shoot it out, strike, catch. Ready? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so the main targets that I typically will use this downward strike on is I'll use it on the head, obviously, I'll use it on the clavicle. Or the hands. I really like using it on the hands because if I see somebody standing out here like this, just a whoop, quick down strike right there on their hands. A lot of people, especially in uh, nunchuck sparring or sparring in general, you know, they uh, they don't expect people to start striking at their hands. They they have their hands out here, boom. That'll get their hands in there real quick. If they're out here with this strike here. If this was actually like a self defense thing, and somehow you have nunchucks or even a stick, you could just bam hit their hands. They're not going to be able to use their hands very well after you crack it, with, especially with nunchucks. If you hit in the hand, oh man, there's a bunch of small bones in here. They can easily be broken. The forearms, uh, you might be able to crack a forearm. It's going to be a little bit more difficult. They have muscle to pad it, but you hit right here in the hands, oh, it's going to break it no problem. So, we just did our right side. Now we're going to do our left side, circular strike. Ready? One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So just like before, we're going to alternate sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be switching one, two. I'm just going to face a different direction, just like this to be able to go back and forth. Because remember, we typically want to have this bladed stance and we could go here and then switch our feet. You can do that if you'd like. 
but this is a little bit easier to go from one side to the other, just like that. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So that was our downward or our circular combat strike. Again, with all these combat strikes, the goal is to be able to come right back into both hands on the chucks very quickly, be able to block, boom, then you can go right into your counter attacks. All right, so we know shuffle kata now, right? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do shuffle kata. You should know it, we finished it. Hopefully you know it completely, don't even need me, but we're gonna do it together. So we're going to bow, present, step back with your right foot, shuffle, high block, front kick, this one's kind of like our, it's kind of like our combat strike that we just did. We pass it over, bam. Except for now we're catching it underneath. Up, together, outward figure eight with the left. Front strike left. Up, other side. Oh, part of yellow combo number five, that's crazy. Behind the back as we step back, around the neck, under, catch. Inward figure eight block. Now our left foot is gonna come up. Look out to the side, our figure eight strike. That's one of our side sequences, two of our side sequences, front, or, yeah, front strike, up, feet together, step through, our figure eight, front strike, up, turn, other side, our figure eight, that's one of our side sequences, two, step through, front strike, three, up, together, switch, our figure eight, front strike, now we're going to Simple up, switch sides, it's over our left shoulder, right foot comes in, right foot steps out, our figure eight. Up together, switch, our figure eight right, step through, front strike. Up together, switch, step forward, left, our figure eight, front strike. Up, switch sides, side strike, around the neck, and we turn and face back to the front as we catch it. Inward figure eight block, just like this. I'm gonna raise up, outward figure eight strike. Front kick with the left, and we're gonna land, front strike. Up, switch, outward figure eight strike left, front strike, up, switch, around the neck, part one. Up, around the neck, part two. Up, switch. Present, right steps out, left steps in, and bow. And let's do that again. Shuffle kata. Together, bow. Present, step back with your right. High block, front kick, kia, land, front strike. Up, together, switch, our figure eight. Front strike, up, switch, around the neck, part one, Remember, we're doing this with our turn all the way around, inward figure eight block. We're going to look left, raise up, our figure eight strike. Step through, front strike. Up, together, switch, our figure eight, front strike. Up, step back, our figure eight strike. Step through, front strike. Up, together, switch, our figure eight, front strike. Up, we're going to Switch over our left as our right foot comes in. Step out, our figure eight. Up together, switch, it's over the right shoulder. Left foot steps out, our figure eight. Step through, front strike. Up together, switch, step through with your left, our figure eight. Front strike, up, switch, side strike around the neck, part one, turn and face right back in towards the front. Inward figure eight block, raise up, our figure eight strike. Front kick, key up, land, front strike. Up, switch. Our figure eight, front strike, up, switch, round the neck part one, 
Up, around the neck, part two. Up, present, together, and bow. All right, so you have no problems with shuffle kata whatsoever, right? Great, let's move on. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna start, let's start with our right arm or over our right arm. I'm going to call out a technique and you're gonna do a technique. Makes sense, right? Ready? Around the neck, part two. Up. Back switch. Front switch. Around the neck, part one. Up. Switch. Outward figure eight strike. Inside strike. Switch. Our figure eight. Inside strike. Up. Switch. Around the neck, part one. Up. Switch. Around the neck, part two. Up. Back switch. Up. Front switch, back switch, our figure eight, front strike, front strike, up, inward figure eight, up, inward figure eight, up, side swing to closing the chucks. Switch, side swing, close the chucks. Up, inward figure eight. Up, outward figure eight. Catch. Up, inward figure eight. Up, outward figure eight. Catch. Front strike. Up, back switch. Back switch, back switch, up, should be over your left shoulder. Around the neck, part two. Switch, front switch, back switch, up, back switch, up, back switch. Front switch, front switch, front switch, side strike. Front strike, up, front switch, side strike, front strike, up. All right, so we just did a bunch of random techniques that I was calling out. Hopefully you were able to quickly identify what the name of that technique was and was able to do it. If not, I was trying to do it eh, slow enough that you should be able to look at me, but it was kind of fast enough that if you didn't know what the technique was, it, you probably had difficulty with it. And that was the point of that. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we're gonna do some freestyle. So remember freestyle, you can just go ahead and do whatever you want. You can do all the techniques that I just mentioned. You can do anything that you might've learned earlier. You can do blitz kata, you can do shuffle kata, just play around, have a good time. So as you do this, as you're just playing around, I'm gonna quickly go over what we did today. So what we did today in today's class is we went over yellow chevron combo number five. Combo number five was an hour figure eight, a front strike, we switched sides, and then we did an around the neck part one. We should know that that was, like I said, it was a yellow chevron combination. So we've done that already. Then we went over our three combat strikes. Our three combat strikes, they all start from both hands on it. We did our inside or our forehand combat strike. We did our backhand or outside combat strike. We did our downward or a circular combat strike. Then we also went and did some shuffle kata. So you know shuffle kata at this point, hopefully. If not, well, you got a little bit of working on it. And then we played a little game at the end where I just kind of called out any techniques, just at random, whatever I was feeling, I kind of did that. And so that leads us to right now, just a little bit of freestyle. 
playing around, doing whatever you want. You can do some hand rolls. We haven't gotten to those yet, but if you want to do that, if you want to start practicing some of your tosses, oh no, you dropped it. It doesn't matter. Just pick it up. Keep going. I drop it too. Nobody's perfect. Keep playing around. Strike. You can start moving around. You want to be able to kind of move freely, especially when you start doing some nunchuck sparring. You're going to want to be able to move around easily. If you're really stagnant with your footwork, well, you're probably going to get hit unless you're really good at blocking. But if your partner is good at moving around and they get to your back because you didn't move too much, well, you're probably going to get hit. So I recommend just being able to freely move. Whatever you're doing, you're able to move around and not trying to think too much about your footwork. You don't want to be like, do I step here when I do this? No. The answer is no. It doesn't matter. Just freely be able to move around, be able to pivot around. Boom. That's going to help out a whole lot. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed today's class. Correction. I know you enjoyed today's class because I enjoyed it too. So make sure that you keep practicing your you can keep doing freestyle if you'd like, keep training, and look forward to the next class.